many uh, coaches in the moment haven't earned that position yet. Well, for example, how's your relationship with Frank Arrock? Oh, as good as it can be under cir circumstances, but I would like to see it better. I think the national coach is in charge of the national team. Uh, you have his assistant, he has his Olympic coach, he has his uh, under-20 coach, he has his youth coach, and I think they should work for the betterment of Australian soccer, and I think it can be an improvement then. Some more communications required? I'm sure that will be done with the next, next time around. I'm sure the commissioner will look into this aspect. They will know how to correct it. <coughs> All right, Les, we'll come back and uh, wrap it up shortly, but uh, let's uh, take a look at the ladder going into round 21. This is the way it looks. St George only needed that midweek win to move back into the top five at Adelaide City's expense. Uh, the goal difference is only one. The top eight are all in contention for the finals, but ninth placed Arpia desperately needs a win or two to stay in contention. Blacktown could ill afford the midweek loss, but still has the matches up its sleeve to ease its relegation worries. A very interesting round of matches coming up with clearer skies needed for the three matches in Melbourne and Sydney tomorrow. It's second versus fourth at Summer Street, a relegation dogfight at Footscray, Heidelberg is confident of upsetting Preston. Blacktown and St George meet, as we mentioned, for the second time in five days. And Wollongong could be in for some trouble from the Marconi side, stung by its loss to Adelaide City. And Olympic and Adelaide will meet on Monday afternoon at St George Stadium. Well, we all recognise soccer as a great game of skills, both on and off the ball, on the ground and in the air. But it also provides its ample share of egg on face. Melbourne producer Robin Wishusen put together this package of some of 1989's most embarrassing moments. Yes, indeed. Uh, Les, those uh, packages are always fun to put together. A good piece of music and some uh, good action from the NSL. Did you enjoy them? Yes, you don't know how much of a fool you make yourself doing a match sometimes. You know, it's, it was very interesting. I didn't know Jerry Gomez had so much skill. <laughs> Great didn't see of much of Blacktown there, but we'll sort, we'll sort Blacktown out over the next six or seven weeks. Um, let's just talk a little bit about the under-16s tonight. They play in the World Cup 
in uh, Scotland, I think in Aberdeen, against uh, East Germany. How do you think they'll go over there? At this level, uh, I think they will do very well. They've been in two World Cups near. Uh, the coaches have got more experience. Uh, the level uh, is there's not so much difference in the level of uh, professionalism in, in this age group. And as, I think Australia also has, has got tall players, physically strong players, and uh, players with natural ability. And don't be surprised if Australia does very well. So we shouldn't worry too much about being in the same group as uh, the Soviet Union and Brazil, for example. We, we grow strong in Australia. We, 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 we grow bigger, taller. And we can play football here too. But at this time, at this level, the players are not full-time professionals. So everything is very even. And can we, you point to a couple of names that we should look out for from that that you'll be looking towards for the year, I, team in a couple of years' time? I, I really can't say uh, uh, at this stage because I, I went to see these boys uh, play against uh, Ed Macaoni and Croatia and I've been in campus and the two strikers are excellent, you understand it? And uh, the goalkeeper uh, with a German name, yep. please forgive me, I lost my memory there, but he's, he's got a big talent. Right, well, let's hope that they do very well, because it's very important, isn't it, for the future of the game that we do well at an international level, at, even at that... At this level, it's very, very important that they get international exposure. This is where the players suddenly can see that they can go and play all over the world to play international football. And it's vitally important that they get this inter international exposure at this early age. Right, Les, thanks very much for uh, coming down to Melbourne and joining me in the studio, and uh, best of luck uh, to Blacktown and with the national youth team in the future. It has been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Les Scheinflug, our guest in the studio today. Thanks for being with me. I'll leave you with some of the best action from 1989. Good night.